Highway 21 between Covington and Bogalusa, the small town of Bush. There's so much division and strife now that I don't think it can be rectified by anybody. Inside its lone gas station, the unsettled presidential election is the talk of the town. There's no solution in revoting. And, and if you couldn't understand the ballot, you should have asked for help. Even though this tiny community is called Bush, don't make the mistake of assuming it's all George Bush country. The Republicans made the money and the poor people didn't have nothing. It's, it, and, and people are going to regret, one of these days they're going to regret if they go Republican now. The lunchtime crowd had a strong appetite for different opinions on the presidential election still hinging on Florida's vote count. It's got me all shook up. I don't really know what's going on, you know. Adrian Quay voted for Bush, and he's proud of it. You think your guy won it fair and square? Hmm. That's, a, that's a hard situation to figure out. Across the table, a Goreman. The ballot should have been better. It was up to the governor to see if the ballot was better. In South Florida, this so-called butterfly ballot is getting the blame for confusing voters in a heavily Democratic area. But people in Bush, Louisiana, can't settle on how far the fight over who gets to claim Florida's electoral votes should go. I don't think the court should decide on the election. The people should. Why, why wouldn't Bush concede? I think Bush is a win, regardless, but I don't think Bush is uh, give up. Oh, well, for none of them. You didn't vote? No. <laughs> Why didn't you vote? Because they're all crooks.